kitchen dietitian, and today I'm going to talk about calcium. Now dairy products are probably the easiest way to get your calcium. Most of us need approximately 1,000 to 1,200 milligrams each day. And just two cups of milk or yogurt will give you 600 milligrams. in Canada, no growth hormones are allowed for sale or use in our dairy industry. Uh, just like humans, cows do get sick as well, so if a cow needs to be given antibiotics, they will be set aside and milked separately, so we can be assured that no antibiotics are in our dairy products. So today I'm going to try and get all my calcium from alternative sources. For breakfast, I'm going to make a frozen berry shake with soft tofu instead of milk or yogurt. purchasing tofu, it's important to look at the label to make sure it has calcium if you're relying on it for your calcium intake. So under the ingredients list there should be calcium sulfate or you can also check on the nutrition facts panel and under calcium there should be approximately 10% of calcium for every quarter to half cup serving. from a run and I'm going to have an orange and a quarter cup of almonds for a snack. I'm ready for lunch so I'm going to make a salmon sandwich and a big spinach salad. I'm going to be using canned salmon because it's the bones in canned salmon that has most of the calcium. My spinach salad and salmon sandwich are ready and I can't wait to eat it. Not only is it quite high in calcium, but I also have plenty of other vitamins and minerals, lots of fiber and omega-3 fats from the salmon. For a snack, I'm having a half a cup of hummus and about a cup of broccoli. I think I prefer a whole wheat pita or whole wheat crackers, but broccoli has more calcium than either of those things. The hummus also has calcium, and that's mostly because of the tahini or sesame seed paste that is in the hummus. For dinner, I'm going to make a tofu and Swiss chard stir fry on top of a bed of quinoa. Now the Swiss chard is fairly high in calcium. My dinner is complete. I am excited to eat because not only is this meal packed with calcium, 
but it's full of veggies, protein from the tofu, and it's over a fluffy bed of quinoa. Calcium is important not only because it keeps our bones strong and may help prevent osteoporosis, but it also may help prevent high blood pressure and the development of colorectal cancer. Not to mention, it looks pretty good on a plate as well. It was a little bit challenging today to make sure I got all the calcium I needed from non-dairy sources, but it is possible. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Your Kitchen Dietitian, and I hope you'll join me again next time. Bon appétit!